Hey guys, Bingo Cat here. So sitting right here in front of me, I got an old laptop from 2003 with a Pentium 4 running Windows XP. And I got requested on Discord that I make a video where this laptop, where I try to get as much time appropriate software as possible running on here. This actually came when I bought this with Windows XP Service Pack 2, so I wiped it and put Windows 7 on there. And then for this video, I had to go all the way back to Windows XP. So the version of Windows XP that was out when this laptop was manufactured was Windows XP Service Pack 1, but I actually cheated <laughs> and put Windows XP Service Pack 3 on here because I wanted to put Steam on here so I could legally put older games on here instead of, you know, having to buy disc or, you know, pirating them. So I actually do have Windows XP Service Pack 3 on here and Steam. But other than that, I tried to get as much time appropriate software on this laptop as possible. Alright, so as you guys see in front of me, I am indeed running Windows XP. And for proof, we're going to go ahead and go to properties here. And let's see how long this takes to load. Yep, it is Windows XP Professional version 2002 Service Pack 3 registered to me. Pentium 4 CPU with 2 gigabytes of RAM. I will say this, first things first, is that I had trouble finding time appropriate software to run on here. Um, some of the software that I wanted to install in here, such as the version of Real Player that was out when this laptop was shipped, I did not find it at all, so what I did find on the other hand were mainly some games and the Microsoft Office Suite. So if I go to the start menu and I go ahead and go to all programs, so the version of Office that I installed on here was Office XP, so it has like Word 2002, Outlook 2002. So if we go ahead and open Word here, it is indeed the 2002 version of Word. And then I do have some other software on here. Now, I actually installed the version of uh, Movie Maker that was out in uh, 2002. Here we go. And guess what? I actually tried to import a 4K video into the 2002 version of Movie Maker. These are the clips from the 4K video. It actually did work. It actually imported the 4K videos, but the maximum resolution that Movie Maker would let me export the videos in was 480p, so you can import all the 4K videos you want, but you can only export it in 480p. On the other thing was these videos were recorded in MP4, but the 2002 version of Movie Maker does not support importing MP4 files, so on my desktop, I had to convert everything to a .wmv file in order for it to work. But still, I thought it was cool how you could actually import 4K video into the 2002 version of Movie Maker. Now obviously it doesn't say what size it is right here because, you know, I don't have the video files on this computer anymore, but still. Now obviously Flux wasn't original, I don't think Flux came out until 2009, but I was working on this computer at night, so that's why I have Flux on here. Now, actually did manage to find the version of Adobe Reader that existed around the time that this computer came out. So, this has a copyright date of 2002, and if you guys are familiar with opening PDFs on the older versions of Adobe Reader, they, they, they were just slow. To be honest, I don't think Adobe Reader has gone any better over the years when it comes to opening PDF files. I just think computers have become more powerful and now they can actually handle Adobe Reader better. I actually do have Internet Explorer 6, aka probably one of the most infamous web browsers of all time. Now unfortunately a lot of sites just don't work in IE6 anymore, maybe that's actually fortunately, but let's just try and go to some websites. So it does load msn.com, so let's go to bbc.com and yes we want to go ahead and continue there. It does load the BBC this site is optimized for modern web browsers and does not support the version of IE, but it does load, I guess. So the next place we're going to go to is YouTube, which um, Google dropped support for IE6 for YouTube back in 2010, but let's see what happens. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and display the non-secure items. Because I think there used to be a warning when you went to YouTube, but I don't know if there is anymore. As you guys can see, it's definitely... Uh, 
not loading fast. Okay, so it does say that my web browser is no longer supported and that I should either get IE, a later version, Chrome, or Firefox, which I'm surprised Google even says you should get IE, Chrome, or Firefox. I'm surprised there isn't just a big button that says get Google Chrome. Oh, and this is interesting. It received a Mozilla user agent string instead of like an Internet Explorer user agent string, but whatever. Let's go to uh, google.com and see what's there. Okay, Google works. It looks like an old version of Google. Now if we actually try to use some Google services, like we go to Google Maps, okay, so the web browser is too old to use Google Maps now. Um, can I use Gmail? Probably not. And all right, so I guess it's attempting to load Gmail, but it is being really, really slow. I'm not gonna sign into Gmail, but this looks pretty horrible. All right, moving right along, we're gonna go ahead and try and play some games. All right, so the two main games that I put on here that were time appropriate were I put Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 on here, and I also put SimCity 4 on here, which is really appropriate for me because those were probably the two games that I played the most back in 2003. So we're going to go ahead and open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. As you guys can see, it's taking its sweet old time to load. All right, so it says that it's open down here. All right, here we are. Presuming the game actually works. Hello. Um, what? For some reason, this game keeps minimizing on me. No, 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 no. Don't minimize. Don't minimize. Don't minimize. Um, let's try hitting enter. And I got a blue screen. You know, I think what the problem was is I was trying to run this game at this computer's native resolution, which um, this is a widescreen laptop display, and the game was only designed for 4x3 aspect ratio, so there's that. The system has recovered from a serious error. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try. It just runs SimCity 4 this time. So here we go. Alright, so I also uh, did change some settings for SimCity 4 to try and get it to run in a widescreen aspect ratio. But I've done this before and it's actually worked. And let's go ahead and turn up the volume. And this used to be one of my favorite games, even long after my family got rid of uh, this, got rid of the this laptop. I still played this game for years and years until City Skylines came out. So I played this game for like over 10 years. But out of all the games that I used to play, you know, on the laptop my family used to have that was like this laptop, SimCity 4 was probably the game that I played the most. So, we're gonna go ahead and go into the big city tutorial over here and see how well this game loads. And as you guys can see, it's actually running at the 16 by 10 widescreen aspect ratio that this laptop has, so that's pretty cool. All right, and so the tutorial popped up, but I already know how to play this game and I still remember, so. We're going to go ahead and exit out of the tutorial and zoom in on the city and see how well lo everything loads. Um, and I f let's see, city spread means trouble ahead. And holy crap, is this slow. I remember when this game came out, people were complaining about performance issues for this game. And it's safe to say that they were definitely right. People on Amazon were saying stuff in, in like the reviews that you practically need a supercomputer to run this game. Um, no, I don't want, I want graphic settings. Here we go. Let's see, so I tried running everything at high using the hardware renderer, but um, that's not too forgiving <laughs> on a, older uh, on older computers. Now if I try running this on my modern gaming desktop, obviously um, it's totally gonna handle this game completely fine, but um, for older computers maybe not. I'm sure if I turned down the graphical settings this game would run a lot better, but 
Um, it looks fine on here, and it's not like the game doesn't run, it does run. Now if I actually try and do stuff in the game on the other hand... Um... I mean, this was never really a gaming laptop. I mean, it definitely was, wasn't was a weak powered laptop, it was actually pretty powerful for the time. Um, however, I, this game just was pretty graphically intense for a lot of computers for the time. Now, now pretty much almost any modern computer would be able to handle this game without any problems, but... Um, I wouldn't say it's unplayable though, it's a little bit slow, but it's still playable. Let's go ahead and place a building. So we're going to go ahead and place a police station here. I don't even know if it needs a police station. Let's place a small one. Okay, that worked. Now I really wish that EA would come out with another version of SimCity. Not like SimCity 2013 or SimCity Society. It's like a true successor to SimCity 4. City Skylines, it's good and it's the spiritual successor to SimCity 4, but um, SimCity 4 actually got some things better than City Skylines, like city management, like you have advisors here telling you what you should do and what's wrong with your city and blah 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 blah, where City Skylines, it's not near or as interactive or as full-featured when it comes to city management. So would it really be a Windows XP video unless we played one of the most famous and fun games that came with Windows XP, wherever that is, probably, uh, where are the Windows XP? Oh, I have to go down to games, apparently I'm blind, but let's go play one of the most fun and famous games that Windows XP had, 3D Pinball. All right, so what are the default, uh, here we go. Let's turn down the volume. I accidentally muted it. Oh, come on. At least I get a redeploy. Okay, not doing too bad so far. I'm playing this from behind a camera, so I might not be as good as normal. Okay. I saw a blog where someone was trying to build the pinball table for this game in real life. I don't think they actually finished it, which is kind of sad, but I would love to see a pinball table of this game in real life. That would be, just be so awesome. It would be like my childhood dream come true. Alright guys, so that was an overview of my Windows XP era Pentium 4 laptop with some time appropriate software. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Please check me out on Discord, Instagram, and Twitch, link down below in the video description. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.